How's it going guys? I thought I'd do a quick video and I'll show you guys how I um, hydrate my nest. Uh, if you can see up here, I've got some two tubes that go up to the top of my tank uh, that are connected to the heapal nest on the side. Uh, every so often I'll uh, get a syringe with a bit of water and uh, put a bit of water down them tubes. So yeah, so I um, thought about that time for uh, hydration today. It's a little bit dry, looking a bit dry back there. So I thought I'd make a quick video and sort of show you guys what that's all about. Everything else uh, in the tank's looking pretty well. Uh, they set it in, settled in really quick. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pause the video, go to the back of the tank, and uh, show you what that's about. All right, awesome. So this is uh, the nest here, obviously. Uh, this side I'll leave dry. Uh, there's no tubes connecting onto this side of the tank. Uh, if we come back around this way. Um, should be able to see that very small hole there that uh, joins up to one of the test tubes uh, up the top and there is actually another hole just down there if you can see it on the next chamber up yeah there's another hole there where sort of water comes out uh there is very very small uh looking larvae in there so i'm not going to hydrate that one uh, a little bit of water in there they sort of won't like Possibly might be able to do a little bit in there just to keep it a bit damp um, This one here is empty, so I can give that a good good water uh, At the bottom here is a hidden chamber as well. So how it happens is it goes down This fills up with water along here uh, And then once this is full When I fill up the tube it comes out that hole and hydrates in here the this one here is direct injection so whatever goes straight down the tube will come come straight into there so i just use a blunt tip syringe um i think the bottom one takes about six six of these before it starts to come out because it's got like i said it's got to fill out the fill in fill up this other chamber in here it's the um sort of hidden one so yeah i'm going to pause it um fill up this syringe and i'll show you how it works all right so if you taking this lid off um, here and you can see my two tubes right there uh, the closest one to me will be the direct injection up there and the other one needs to fill up first before it comes back out of there I might put a little bit in here actually let's just see how they react when I start to put a little bit of water in uh, with that larvae we'll see how we go alright so I'll just put the syringe in there also being careful that none of them are climbing up the glass to try and bite me. No, it's good. Alright, let me see if I can do this. Okay, bear with me. Okay, here we go. The water coming out now. Just want to do it really slowly. You see, it's starting to get wet. What you want, don't want to do, obviously, is put too much in there uh, to drown the larvae. And I've noticed if you do put a little bit too much, they will sort of stick their heads up in the air. I'm just going to probably leave it like that for now. I think that should be plenty. So you don't need much um, for that one. You don't need much. They'll move them around where they suit. Uh, in this bottom one, because it's a lot more empty, um, I can do a bit more in there. So let me just pause it and refill the syringe. Okay, cool. So we're going to try this other charm now. Apologise about the filming. I'm doing it on a phone. It's a bit hard. Uh, so we're going to go one, we did get a little bit of water, um, pause again, two, a little bit more water, like I said that other chamber below has got to fill up first, 
but it will just get a little bit of splash back as that water's going down. It'll come in here. Sorry. Yeah, starting to check it out. Four. Okay, there we go. Starting to flood in now. So I know that bottom chamber on the inside the hebel there will be full. And now it's coming out. So what I'll do, I'll pause it, I'll fill it up again. I'll put a little bit more in than that. Uh, and I'll slowly do the syringe. So they'll sort of... Uh, we get out for a little bit, um, move the larvae around, get out of the water, um, but ultimately they'll be sort of happy in there. So let's do one more. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it steady there. I'm putting the syringe up the top. And we're slowly going to do a little bit more. Yep, there we go. That's great. As soon as the water seems to touch the larvae, they know. And start wriggling around. And they'll come and grab them. There she is now, starting to move it already. You can see that, yep. Dragging it out the way. So, like I said, they know what they're doing. It's good to hydrate the nest too. I might do one more actually. You know, it's actually great that that chamber is empty because I can give it a really good hydration. Okay, last one. Here we go. And you can see without any larvae, they're starting to come over drink and whatever. There we go. What are we doing? That'll soak into the hebel and uh, yeah, make it nice and damp over this side. Looks like I didn't do too much in there. They seem to pull the larvae up to that lip part there, get them out of the way so it doesn't look like they're panicking so must be just right in there, beautiful this one here like I said I did a bit extra because uh, there wasn't that many larvae so they can sort of enjoy the water so there, there we go um, yeah so that's how I sort of do the hydration every week or so um, yeah when it gets a bit dry uh, start hydrating the nest and keep this side um, always dry and warm um, and this side sort of a bit colder and uh, more damp and more moist for them so that water should eventually settle I can give them a drink stuff like that looks like they're going down down there now to have a drink and things so looks like they're already starting to clean themselves and whatever drinking it enjoying it so yeah, there we are. Pretty simple uh, way to do it. Is uh, yeah, connect some tubing up to the hebel here, and I siliconed it, things like that, and then made a small hole uh, leading into the uh, leading into the nest, so it didn't uh, all flood in at once, um, and it can't escape anywhere else but sort of go into the nest. So yeah, that looks all all really good, nice and damp there, beautiful. There we go. Thanks for watching.